you know I had to make an update to this video. <laughs> Happy Book Tropica Month, everybody. Um, it's going great, even though we're only on day two. We already have way more uploads than I thought we were gonna get to the playlist. Um, granted, two of them are shit posts, but they are great shit posts. So I hope everyone's having a great Pop Tropica month. If you missed it, it is Pop Tropica month. Don't know how you missed that, but yeah, that's happening right now. So all month long Pop Tropica videos. So this was a video I did in July of last year. Um, it was one of my first videos, I remember. Not only is, like, the quality not great, it's, like, obviously one of my first videos that I made, I think, like, one of my first solo videos, so I wanted to update it, but then also, like, my tastes have changed. Like, my new top 10 Hottest Pop Tropicans is not at all similar to last year's one, and it's only been just over a year, so, like, feel like I have to reintroduce you to who I simp for in Pop Tropica. Now the biggest thing you'll notice with this list is that it there's no more women. Um last year my list had a few women. Not anymore. Um yeah, I don't really have an explanation for that. I'm just less into women. Don't know what happened there. But anyway, my sexuality aside, let's get to our top 10 hottest Pop Tropicans. But first, we have a thing to talk about. If you do not participate in the Dream Island contest, skip this part. You'll, there'll be timestamps on the like bar right here, so skip it. You can just skip to the list. But if you participated in the Dream Island contest, listen up. Two weeks from now, I'm doing a video talking about some rejected Dream Islands, and so I need rejected Dream Islands. So if you submitted an island to the Dream Island contest and you didn't win, let me know about it so I can maybe talk about it in the video. I'm not going to talk about every single one that I get. I'm just going to like go in depth with my favorites. But anyway, yeah. So if you submitted to the Dream Island contest, you can either DM me on Discord, DM the Dimension Bros on Instagram, just comment it in this video in detail. Um, yeah, basically however you want to share it with me. If you have like a Google Doc about it, I would recommend like DMing me instead of linking that in the comments because most of the time comments with links get like deleted because they think it's spam, which most of the time it is. So yeah, just in two weeks from now, I'm gonna be talking about Rejected Dream Islands. So if you want your island to possibly be one that I talk about, send it to me. Anyways, now it's time for the top 10 hottest Pop Tropicans updated. Number 10 is Bucky Lucas from Reality TV. He was higher on last year's list. Um, He still made this year's. I just, I like him, okay? He's a ragged himbo. I, I don't have any reason to believe he's a himbo in the canon, but I'm choosing to believe it. Yeah, I like a guy who just sits around and eats pizza all day, cause that's what I do most of the time. Like you see him in his prime and you're like, ah, oh, that's a hot pop shop game. And then you see him all disheveled, and bearded, and you're like, oh, ho, 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 ho. Yeah, uh, I don't have much to say on Bucky Lucas because I already talked about him last year. So I'm going to move on from him quickly so we can get to our new additions. <laughs> Number nine is Bigfoot from Cryptids. I'm not a furry, but have you seen Bigfoot from Cryptids? <laughs> Number eight is Myron Van Buren. I know, I know. I, oh. I don't have any justification for it. I'm I'm I don't I'm not even gonna pretend like I do. He's just he's got a cool scar, cool mustache, cool aesthetic, he's got a nice house. I'm a fan of taxidermy when it's done humanely, which it can be. If an animal dies of natural causes, why can't I have its corpse in my house? Like what are you talking about? Just like I I am pro taxidermy, humane taxidermy. Don't kill animals for the sake of stuffing them, but like if an animal dies no one's else is using that corpse, so let me have it. Anyway, taxidermy aside, I like Myron Van Buren. I think he's attractive and he's old and he's rich. He, he's like literally like top tier sugar daddy material, so there's that. I think we need more Myron Van Buren simps in the Pop Tropka community. That's what the Pop Tropka community needs. Nothing else, just MVB simps. Number seven is Hades from Mythology, which you might be surprised to see. Hades was number one on my 2020 list, and he has now been bumped all the way down to number seven. That's because I realized 
more of my thing with Hades was just pure gender envy and not actually attraction. But, like, he is still, like, tall and big and a god. So, like, ooh. So, yeah, I had to keep Hades on the list. But there are some other Potropkins that I'm like, you're above Hades. Sorry, Hades. I just, I mean, there's not much. To, I talked about him a lot in last year's video. So, yeah. Number six is... Octavian. I know there is right now people watching this video being so utterly disappointed in me and people screaming their fucking tits off. Octavian has a whole cult dedicated to him and his simps. And I'm in the cult and at first I was like, oh, this is a stupid cult, but now I'm like, oh, Octavian is hot. He is. He's a dilf. Look at him. That's, that's a dilf. And, like, I don't think it helps the way that Gia draws him in the pop dating sim. That's, that's not helping me, Gia. He's just... I like villains. He's a villain. Oh, I, I am disappointed in myself. I am thoroughly disappointed in myself. Number five is not actually an official, like, Pop Tropica character, but rather someone's OC, and that is Dr. Phil Sands. Now you might be thinking, what the fuck is Dr. Phil Sands? Let me tell you. Basically, we did a video reacting to your OCs linked above, and one of the OCs was the Poptropka version of Dr. Phil, who has a Sands form to blast people with. Like, work! I love that. You come on to Dr. Phil, all of a sudden you hear Megalovania start playing. Like, that's, that's great. We love that. I love Dr. Phil Sands. But yeah, I mean, human Dr. Phil? Ew, disgusting. We hate him. No, we do not stand. Do not approve. Bleh. But like, when he's in a pop tropican form, like, you're like, ooh. And then he goes into sans mode. Oh, wow, that's hot. Yeah, so he's number five. Number four is the Woodsman from Fairy Tale. I don't know his like official name because he's not actually on the fan wiki. Fan wiki people add him. He was not in the list of fairy tale characters. But anyway, he is giant and he is very hairy. And you know, yes, I have been known to love twinks. I, I am, but like also bears. I'm not, I'm not just gonna like ignore bears when they're right there. I'm like, hello love bears so and the woodsman is like the barest bear pop Tropka could have ever like delivered to us he's like so large so much hair and he attempted homicide no it's not a hot pink theo stop people on the internet are gonna like be worried for you i don't care but yeah the woodsman from fairy tale well, look at him look at him honestly if all of these people were real and I had to pick one to actually date, it would be him. Number three is another one from last year's list, the Spin for the Riches host. Come on, a twink robot who hosts a game show that's like the coolest thing you could be. Those are the three coolest things you can be. Yeah, again, I talked about him in last year's video. Go watch last year's video to hear more about my love for the Spin for the Riches host. But look at this little guy, aww. Number two is Cole Man from Mystery Train. If you want to watch me fall in love with Cole Man in real time, as my first ever time playing Mystery Train, I did do it. I did film it for last year's Pop Tropica Month, and that is where our love started. I was like, wow, Cole Man, you're hot. So go watch that happening to like experience what I experienced because it's it's a video of me playing Mystery Train. But yeah, Cole Man, he's just so mysterious. Ooh, he's covered in coal and like is part of the reason I like him because he has a little bandana around his neck, which makes me think of Orpheus from Hades Town a little bit, but like is there anything wrong with that? If something reminds me of a musical I like, I'm allowed to be into it. And like I imagine he has like one of those like old timey accents like hey welcome to the train that's not what people from the 1800s sounded like i don't know what they sounded like but i bet he has a cool accent and yeah i he's covered in coal and soot and ash and dust and like ooh. so coal man takes number two number one 
I am so sorry to inform you that number one on this list is Rumpelstiltskin. I think, I don't know, I think I am just legally obligated to be attracted to Goblin Twinks, okay? I'm like, what do you want me to do with him? Like, he's got pointy ears, green skin, cool eyes, lots of piercings, and he's evil? That checks all of my boxes. And like, yeah, as a villain, he sucks because you literally don't do anything to defeat him. You actually don't defeat him. There's no boss battle and he gets away. So he's like, from a narrative perspective, He's literally the worst villain in all of Pop Tropica, but like, from a character design standpoint? Ooh! And like, there is that line from the prince saying that he's an alien when he's like, I guess, I guess he's an alien, but like he's designed like, like a fantasy goblin elf, which I guess are technically aliens because those worlds aren't Earth. So yeah, I guess he's an alien and he's my alien and I love him. And, I mean, just look at him. Just, just look at him. I think it's, it's the piercings for me. It really is. And, like, you know, he has magic. That's cool. I love, I love a magic man. I love a good magical man. And, yeah, I have no idea why he's called Rumpelstiltskin because the original Rumpelstiltskin was an old, decrepit human man. So, I don't know how that turned into Fashion Goblin, but... And he does not at all fit the fairy tale of Rumpelstiltskin, other than you have to guess his name. Other than that, nothing in common, but like, I'm kind of glad about that. I'm kind of glad this is the Rumpelstiltskin we got instead of just like an old man scamming a young woman. That's what it was, right? And so that is the updated top 10 hottest Pop Tropicans list. Um, thank you for watching my first Pop Month video. Thank you for listening to my simple ranting. Simple. I don't even know what I'm saying. So go check out the other videos made for Pop Tropica Month in the playlist linked in the description. Also go check out Instagram to see what's happening over there. And if you want to join, make your video and then send it to us on Discord. I am a disgrace to humanity.